front. Efforts to end the Assad era are faltering, giving Syria's president more reasons to feel confident. He's told a Lebanese TV station that the first shipment of Rashi Russian anti-aircraft missiles have arrived in Syria. Assad has warned Israel he won't hesitate to take action if there are any more attacks across the border. Israeli jets carried out air raids on targets in Syria earlier this month. Meanwhile, Assad continues to have the support of Hezbollah fighters from Lebanon. They've been leading the battle against Syrian rebels in the town of Qusayr. The United States is demanding the immediate withdrawal of Hezbollah, who appear to have the upper hand against the rebels. Ben Smith has more. On Hezbollah's TV channel, video of Syrian government forces retaking an airbase near the strategic border town of Qusayr. Fighters from Hezbollah, a Shia Muslim group based in Lebanon, were heavily involved in this battle. Their role seems to have been important to the success for President Assad's regime. Regaining control of Qusayr would secure territory that connects Damascus to the Mediterranean coast, home to Assad's Alawite sect. The battle for the area is taking a heavy toll on its civilian population. Anti-regime groups say Qusayr is surrounded. After the destruction of the field hospitals, more than 1,200 injured are waiting to be treated. 200 of them are in a serious condition, and doctors announce that they have run out of oxygen. We are calling for an immediate and urgent evacuation of the injured. We can't find safe shelters for them. The U.S. government is condemning Hezbollah's involvement in this war. This is an unacceptable and extremely dangerous escalation. We demand that Hezbollah withdraw its fighters from Syria immediately. But with Hezbollah's help, Assad is consolidating weeks of counter-offensives that have hurt anti-government forces around Damascus and in the center of the country. Still, though, much of the north and east of Syria is beyond Assad's control. However, the Syrian president may be emboldened by the arrival of a Russian air defense system. Lebanese media are reporting that Assad says he's received the first shipment of S-300 missiles. Weapons that Israel sees as a threat to its security. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera. Our correspondent Andrew Simmons joins us live from...